Emerging amidst initial uncertainties at Real Madrid, Vinicius Jr. defied expectations to ascend as the club's shining star. Despite bearing the weight of being the priciest wonder kid of his time, Vinicius shouldered the burden gracefully within the Los Blancos ranks, with fans eagerly anticipating his breakthrough as a Brazilian prodigy. Through a journey marked by trials and triumphs, Vinicius ultimately silenced doubters, validating his worth as a prodigious talent worthy of Real Madrid's investment. Transitioning from a disregarded prospect to a pivotal figure within the Real Madrid lineup, Vinicius' ascent to glory catalyzed the club's success, illustrating his remarkable transformation. Vinicius Jose Peixada Oliveira, also known as Vinicius Jr., burst onto the scene in 2000, showcasing his exceptional skills with Flamengo. His rise began with remarkable performances at the youth level, notably shining with the Flamengo U-13 squad before leading the Brazil U-15 team to triumph in the South American Championship. However, it was his standout performance with the Brazil U-17 national team, where he emerged as the top scorer, that truly captured attention, leaving even the Brazilian U-17 coach Carlo Amador astonished. With a promising trajectory, Vinicius exhibited the qualities of a top-tier player, displaying both skill and composure amidst the spotlight. Shortly after, he made his senior debut with Flamengo in 2017 at a tender age of 16, marking his entry into professional football with a memorable debut in Serie A Brazil against Atletico Mineiro. His breakout moment caught the eye of Real Madrid, as a representative witnessed his debut performance firsthand, igniting the interest of the Spanish giants. The pinnacle arrived when Vinicius notched his debut goal against Palestine, donning his iconic number 20 jersey with pride. The year 2018 etched itself in Vinicius' memory as Real Madrid finalized his acquisition for a staggering 45 million euros, underscoring his ambitions and aspirations with the prestigious club. I arrived here with a clear goal, to earn my spot in the esteemed ranks of Real Madrid's first team. Through relentless dedication and hard work, I am determined to carve out a significant role within the squad. However, Vinicius encountered a hurdle on his path to Real Madrid due to regulatory constraints. The Brazilian government's prohibition on players under 18 embarking on international careers momentarily stalled his dream. Nevertheless, Real Madrid persisted, reaching an agreement with Flamengo for the transfer of Vinicius Jr.'s federative rights, effective from July 2018. Despite the delay, Vinicius continued to hone his skills at his current club, bolstered by the endorsement of Brazil U-17 national team coach Carlo Amador, who recognized his potential. Acknowledging Vinicius' promise, caution-tempered enthusiasm. While lauded for his talent, Vinicius was reminded of the importance of patience and continuous improvement by figures such as Real Madrid legend Roberto Carlos, who emphasized the pride and responsibility associated with representing the club. Expressing gratitude for realizing his dream of joining Real Madrid, Vinicius bid farewell to his former club, although reports surfaced suggesting his allegiance to Barcelona. Despite initial struggles adapting to the Santiago Bernabeu in his debut season, Vinicius found himself reassigned to Real Madrid B by coach Julen Lopetegui, tasked with refining his skills and tactical understanding in Spanish competitions. Adapting his playing style and showcasing natural prowess predominantly on the left flank, Vinicius' evolution signals his imminent integration into the first team. Lopetegui highlighted Vinicius' remarkable mentality, emphasizing his eagerness to learn and his unwavering commitment to meeting the team's demands. In an unexpected turn, Vinicius found himself swiftly promoted to the main squad of Real Madrid. However, his ascent was met with challenges, as he struggled to secure a starting position under Julen Lopetegui's tenure until his dismissal in Week 10. Despite making appearances in only two matches, Vinicius managed a mere 12 minutes of playtime, overshadowed by the prominence of Marco Asensio and Gareth Bale in the winger role. Following Lopetegui's departure, Zinedine Zidane assumed the helm as head coach of Los Blancos. Despite Zidane's acknowledgement of Vinicius' individual talent, the Brazilian prodigy found himself relegated to the bench for much of the 2018-2019 season, featuring in only 14 matches. Zidane, while praising Vinicius' skill set, expressed reservations about his playing style. Vinicius, undeterred by Zidane's critique, remained focused and appreciative of the mentorship provided by the legendary coach. Despite initial nerves upon returning to Madrid, Vinicius prioritized finding his rhythm and maintaining a positive mentality, emphasizing the importance of playing with joy. 
Despite his efforts, Vinicius faced criticism from fans who questioned his effectiveness beyond his dribbling prowess, dubbing him Lord in jest. Tensions escalated when teammate Karim Benzema's frustration surfaced during a match against Borussia Mönchengladbach, where he reportedly instructed Ferland Mendy not to pass to Vinicius, leading to a strained on-field dynamic. Benzema later addressed the incident, likening Vinicius' play to that of an adversary rather than a teammate. Real Madrid, dissatisfied with Vinicius' performance, swiftly secured Eden Hazard's transfer from Chelsea for a staggering €115 million. Euros. Zinedine Zidane, admiring Hazard's stellar displays at Chelsea, envisioned a partnership between Hazard and Vinicius. I don't see it as impossible, Zidane remarked. We aim to make the players comfortable. Vinicius' position is where Eden Hazard excels, but that doesn't preclude them from playing together. Vinicius, at 19, still has much to learn tactically and otherwise, but he's eager to improve. Amidst challenges, Vinicius found solace in the support of senior players, notably Sergio Ramos, the Real Madrid captain at the time. Vinicius credited Ramos for providing invaluable moral support, hailing him as a natural leader in the dressing room. As time passed, Zidane recognized Vinicius' exceptional abilities and gradually instilled confidence in him, denying any notion of mistrust. I have complete faith in Vinicius' talent as his coach. Indeed, Vinicius began to flourish under Zidane's guidance. In the 2019-2020 season, he featured in 35 matches, scoring five goals. By the following season, Zidane's belief in Vinicius had grown, with the Brazilian slowly cementing his place in the team's core. Remarkably, Zidane even deployed Vinicius in the unfamiliar right wing-back position, a testament to Vinicius' versatility and commitment to the team's cause. Playing there was new to me, Vinicius admitted. But I must always be prepared to contribute whenever I wear the Real Madrid shirt. Vinicius' unwavering determination and team-first attitude earned Zidane's admiration, with the coach frequently praising his stellar performances. He's been exceptional, truly contributing to the team, praised Zidane, buoyed by Vinicius' stellar performance against Liverpool in the Champions League. With two crucial goals securing a 3-1 victory for Los Blancos, Vinicius showcased his prowess on the grand stage. Throughout the season, he featured in 49 La Liga and Champions League matches, tallying six goals and seven assists, marking a significant improvement from previous campaigns. Despite thriving under Zidane, Vinicius faced a managerial change in the 2021-2022 season, as Carlo Ancelotti assumed the reins at Real Madrid. Under Ancelotti's guidance, Vinicius blossomed into a pivotal figure, instrumental in securing the Champions League title, adding to Real Madrid's illustrious trophy cabinet. Forming a lethal partnership with Karim Benzema, Vinicius notched an impressive 22 goals, earning accolades from Ancelotti. Vinicius possesses extraordinary talent and physical attributes, deserving recognition for his goal-scoring prowess, Ancelotti commended. However, amidst his burgeoning career, Vinicius encountered appalling instances of racism from opposing supporters, both on and off the field. Despite the outcry from players like Danny Sabolos urging La Liga to intervene, racist incidents persisted, casting a shadow over Vinicius' experience in Spanish stadiums. Vinicius deserves respect and protection in all Spanish stadiums. These despicable acts must cease, demanded Sabolos. Amid rumours of departure due to persistent racism, Real Madrid remained steadfast in their support, reportedly offering Vinicius a lucrative contract extension until 2028, with a staggering release clause of £1 billion, underscoring their commitment to safeguarding their emerging star.